Good morning, Stampers. This is Laura Buchler from Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, coming to you on a sort of sunny, snowy, melty Sunday morning here in Nanaimo, BC. I don't know about you, but here in our household, we're all still in our pajamas, and not all of us have made it out of bed yet this morning, which is uh, exactly how Sunday mornings should be, in my opinion. So I'm coming to you live because I want to show you how to make this really cool scalloped scalloped tag topper treat holder. Now that is a tongue twister if I've ever heard one. So I made a bunch of these for a Christmas craft fair that I was involved in last December, which was a lot of fun. And uh, I decided I'm going to update the design with some spring products. So here's what the uh, finished product looks like today and I'm going to show you how to make this with uh, some of our current Stampin' Up! products. Starting with um, a piece of cardstock. So this is going to be two inches wide by six and a half inches long and you're going to score it at two and three quarters and three and three quarters. Um, and once you've done that, once you've done the scoring, you can take your scalloped tag topper punch and punch on both ends of your cardstock. There we go. You can see why you want to do the scoring first because if you did the punching first it would be very hard to measure where to put your score lines. So those score lines are going to basically form the bottom part of your treat holder. And next, I'm going to show you what goes in the treat holder, which is three of these fun little bars. These are called Hershey's Nugget chocolate bars, and they, uh, I get mine from Bulk Barn. I'm not sure if there's any other place in Nanaimo to get them. And what I like to do is wrap these little nuggets in uh, designer series paper. So today I've chosen the Botanical Butterfly paper, which is one that you can earn free with your qualifying celebration purchase of $60. Um, and this paper is beautiful. As always, it has designs on both sides. And what I like about it is it's always got um, color on one side and then black and white on the other side which is just gorgeous, works for a lot of really great pro projects. So what you can do is you cut these pieces to three and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. And then your next, your next task is deciding, of course, which is gonna be your outside and which is gonna be your inside. So I'm gonna keep um, the butterfly theme. So I'm gonna use this as the inside. So you're just gonna run some snail along one edge of your paper and you need to pay attention to which way your chocolate bar wrapper is going. If I put my paper so that it's wrapping around this way it's just going to pull the paper off so instead I want to put it so that it's pulling the paper closed. So I attach that along the bottom, kind of wrap it around and then add another strip of adhesive right at the edge. And there we go, we've got a nice wrapped bar. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the rest of these. The reason I decided to make up a batch of these is I'm doing a home party for a brand new hostess in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna make a set of these, not only to demonstrate the versatility of our products and get them excited about different things that they might want to buy or earn, uh, but also just to give all the guests a little thank you gift, a little welcome, welcome to our party and, you know, hopefully we're going to have lots of fun together, so I like to do gifts like that for, for the guests and of course a special gift for the hostess, I haven't quite decided what that's going to be yet, so there we go, there's our beautifully wrapped chocolate bars. As if chocolate couldn't get any better, now we're going to wrap it up and make it beautiful. Now, with the next step is going to be this strip of uh, DSP, which is six and a half inches long and one and a half inches wide. And I have scored this at one inch, 
three inches, four inches, and six inches. So you can see that last little bit is just a half an inch long. It's really tiny. But that's okay because it's just going to overlap itself. And this is what's going to wrap around your treat holder. So I'm going to put some snail down in there. into a box. You can see that's a nice little band now. And this just slides over your treat holder to hold it together and decorate it. Really pretty, hey? So now we can pop our treats inside. There we go, they're all inside. Finally, I'm going to take a piece of, uh, this is about 8 inches of ribbon, and use this to tie it shut. Let's see if I can actually get a bow out of this. Not bad. There we go. That's pretty cute. Pretty pleased with that. So, finally I'm just going to add my sentiment. So what I've got is the Highland Heather ink, which matches the cardstock that I've chosen. And I'm using the Butterfly Gala stamp set. This is a fabulous stamp set that coordinates with the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper as well as the Gingham Gala Designer Series paper. And uh, I've gotten a lot of use out of this already. I'm sure I'm going to get lots more. I love the collection of sentiments that comes with it and in particular the this font of the sentiments. It just looks like a really beautiful heartfelt handwriting. So I've chosen the sentiment, the good things in life are better with you. And I've got a little piece of white scrap here. So I'm going to ink up my stamp. Stamp that right in there. And what I've got is my one and three quarter inch circle punch to punch that out. All right. Line that up right where I want it. Pop it out. Close up my ink pad so I don't end up sticking my fingers in it because that's totally something I would do. Now what I've already done is with this uh, butterfly duet punch, I've punched out several of these little wee butterflies from the botanical butterfly paper. You can see this paper here. This punch will actually punch out those tiny butterflies. And uh, this larger punch will punch out the larger butterflies on the paper. So you have to do a little bit of uh, trimming around the butterflies to make sure that you're not uh, punching holes in the other butterflies while you're trying to punch these out. But it's well worth the effort because these are just beautiful. So I actually bought a second pack or earned a free second pack of this paper just specifically so I could punch out as many little butterflies as I wanted to. So I'm going to put some snail and I think what I want to do is kind of attach the sentiment like that. So I'm actually only going to put snail on the bottom part of the sentiment just so it's going to attach to the DSP. So it'll kind of overlap there. And then I'm going to put some on these little butterflies. a little bit to give them that look as if they're about to fly away. Oh, I think I want to put that one facing the other way. Kind of make it the opposite of the one below. The good things in life, can we still see that? There we go. The good things in life are better with you. So there's my finished project. As you can see, it's, it's really similar to the Christmas one and yet totally updated for our current products. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you feel inspired to check out any of these products for yourself, you can shop online at my store, inkyfingers.com, pardon me, inkyfingers.ca, and uh, you can buy any of these products that you would like. If you have any questions, drop me a line. Be sure to um, use the current hostess code when you place your order and that way you'll get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to host your own party, either online or in person, then drop me a line and we'll make that happen. Uh, celebration, which runs until March 31st, is a fabulous time to host a party because even uh, all of your guests will earn free rewards as well as yourself. So uh, thanks for watching today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.